this is Dan Farisi, Group Editor, Commercial and Security with Emerald. So happy to be once again working with our partners at the HD Base T Alliance for Thought Leader interviews here at Infocom 2024. We have two great thought leaders here with us today, Sam Kennedy from Crestron, Yaki Svadia from Valens. Thank you so much for being here both. Thank you. Happy to be here. So let's dive right into it. I mean, AI is obviously a very hot topic these days, as is video conferencing, the continued evolution of the UCNC space. What is the role of AI when it comes to video conferencing these days on a top level perspective? Yeah, I think there's two really key areas uh, where AI is impacting uh, video conferencing today. One is around the user experience, and that's a lot of taking what you, historically would have been a lot of machine learning that's turning into AI, or we're, we're using the term AI, and that's things like uh, no noise blocking, so I'm able to remove noise, have better audio experiences, have multiple cameras, get delivering better visuals or uh, taking the cameras and dividing them up so I can see each participant. So it's really driven from a user experience perspective is one aspect where AI is impacting uh, video conferencing today. The other that I think is very much emerging is the idea of uh, vir that virtual assistant in, their, in your meetings, the co-pilot, their Zoom AI assistants, and how they're starting to impact the, the meeting spaces. So I think really those are the two key areas where AI is impacting video conferencing today. For you, Yaki, I'd like to talk about the connectivity aspect a little bit, the different layers in which AI can be integrated. Do you want to talk about that? Obviously, AI is in early stages right now in the, in the industry, uh, and it can be implemented in different layers, starting from the connectivity layer up to the uh, application layer. And it's very important to have the uh, ingredients, and I'm talking about connectivity that includes multi-cameras, uh, different uh, connectivity for speakers, displays, other peripherals that are needed in the meeting room, and be able to have uh, the appropriate, uh, for instance, latency to do switching in between cameras uh, where the application, the higher level, a application of AI need to do switching in between different cameras or multi-cameras. So we need to have a very short latency to be able to do that efficiently. Uh, we need to have all the inputs coming from the speakers going to the display to be able and control and manage the AI application at that level. And this is exactly uh, what Valence is doing and HD based T technology is all about. A, a very low latency, a connectivity of uh, video. A, it's, it doesn't matter if it's uh, coming from uh, a top a table, a 360 uh, a, a, a video a camera, if it's connected using uh, a CSI or USB, it doesn't matter. Still, you need very low latency. And the same applies to microphones that are uh, installed in the uh, room. So the setup, the hardware is quite important. And then we can go to the higher layer of AI to implement additional features and all kinds of things that are, uh, my colleague here talked about. Very, very well said, Yaki. Uh, so, Sam, why don't we talk a little bit about user experience, best practices, training ideas for AI-driven conference rooms? Because they're a little bit different from your non-AI conference rooms, aren't they? Yeah, and I think I, I think we just take the uh, one of the use cases around AI as it relates to uh, the conference room. It's really around a multi-camera. I think that's one of the biggest areas of innovation we're seeing in the industry. And there's really two key things of areas of focus right now uh, that customers, end users, and integrators should be thinking about is, do I go with an inside-out, I call it an inside-out center of the table, the cameras in the center of the table typically attached to a wall. Those are driven by, by uh, vendors like Need, Poly, Logitech. Yay Link, and you know, those are typically targeted at smaller spaces, but they deliver that experience. I mean, really, a lot of this is about how do I deliver the best experience for the end users and give them that feeling that the when I'm at home, the people that are in the conference room, I'm always getting that really high quality eye contact, and that's really what we're trying to do in order to drive that human connection. What is the best cap What is the best capability? So I really want to enable my users to, to have that feeling like eye contact. So, you know, for smaller spaces, when it comes to multi-camera, that are center of the table,
cable, 360 degree attached to uh, something on the wall, I think delivers a really great experience with multi-camera. On the flip side, companies like Crestron, what we deliver what I call an outside in, right? So cameras around the room that are filming users around the table. Mm -hmm. And depending on which way maybe someone's looking or someone's talking, it's gonna leverage that camera and it's gonna make those people that are remote feel that eye connection, that contact. They're gonna feel connected to those users. And so you know, multi-cameras is big innovations that I think really ultimately drive the end user experience, but it's built off of this, this, uh, the strength of AI. We, we started with, I think our industry, as it relates to AI, we, while it's emerging technologies, a lot of this has been built upon a lot of, it's not brand new. Mm -hmm. It's built on a lot of years of experience and we're, we're really, we're, we're not, while we're still relatively early days for multi-camera, the experiences themselves are very, very advanced. And yeah. so, so users should absolutely be, and users and integrators and, and uh, all, uh, all the different developers should be uh, thinking about how do I deploy multi-camera solutions for the users today? Because the, the, the technology is very advanced at this point where we can deliver some amazing experience for, for the customer. So training, I think, once you start to deploy this and you enable your spaces, you'll see the training, there really is a need for training. The users yeah. just go in, they click their they click the join button, everything happens automatically, right? They don't have to learn anything. And I think that's one of the real values of having multi-cameras in the rooms today. Yeah, I don't think there's any doubt about it. As we begin to wrap up the panel, I'd just like to talk a little bit about AI as it relates to analytics, whether it's room utilization, that kind of thing. Is there a role to be played with that as well? Well, absolutely. I mean, the, the, the smarter that the cameras get, the smarter that the systems get, as we start to be able to leverage AI to identify what's in a room. Is the, is the, uh, has uh, someone left garbage in the room and does that need to be emptied? Uh, the cameras, can they identify how large the, the space is and can I, I saw a demo from a manufacturer here where um, as someone walks into the room, if they don't start to get tracked until they hit a certain distance. So we're able to identify how large the space is and only track within those particular spaces. So AI is really emerging and enabling a lot of uh, capabilities to understand what's in the room. And then once you have all that and you start acting upon that, then you're able to take that data and then start to be able to do something with it. So I'm, I'm able to not only do real time things like someone come in and clean up the garbage because the AI is able to do that, but mm -hmm. I'm starting to understand trends. How many people are in this room? Is this room only used for these specific meetings? And I can start to take that analytics and start to do some really impactful things for my users because I'm going to have a lot better, deeper understanding of how people are ultimately using the technology. Yeah. Well, thank you so much, Yaki. Thank you so much, Sam, for being here and for kind of bringing us the connection between trusted, reliable HD base T as your connection, along with the exciting, evolving world of AI. It's really going to revolutionize conference rooms and meeting rooms. Thank you for being thought leaders and sharing thank your you. insights with us.